Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. This is continuation of the API management demo and this is part 5. So in this video, what we are going to see is, we are going to see how to access the APIs using our gateway URLs that we received through the Postman. So I will cover two important demos in this video. One is how to access the API with the uh, keys and then the next one is to apply some inbound policies and see how the policy will look and especially the one that we are going to apply today is the client certificate verification policy. Come, let's dive in. I have opened up my portal and if I go to API, you know that we already have this API in place. So let me go and pick up to the test and let's take an example. So let's take an example of like get categories or in other words, we can also say get products. Okay, so let's go to get products where is that all right so let's go to get products and this is the url right so i copied this url i'm going to open up the postman and if you already have the postman well and good if not you can use the postman from the browser or you can download the postman app itself and then open it i have the postman app and i clicked on the new http request and in the URL, I'm pasting the URL. If you look at this closely, this is the gateway URL. This is not the developer URL. This is the gateway URL. And uh, in order to access the product, this is the final URL. Okay. So now if I hit on send, so immediately we got 401 access denied. Authentication failed. Okay. There are two things important thing. One is authentication, one is authorization. Authentication is 401 status code, which means it doesn't know who we are. Okay, authorization is something that it knows who we are, but we do not have sufficient privilege. That's called authorization. Right now, authentication has failed. So it clearly says that it is missing the subscription key. Okay, so basically, if you remember, every time that we execute from here, like if I do a send, okay, it, it will receive a request properly, like it got the response only because it it is sending the uh, the subscription key also along with that like for example uh, if we try to do this through the development for example if you try to execute this from here right you would have got the uh, the key that has been sent that we saw in the previous demo so basically we're missing the key okay okay if you see this if you're trying the same endpoint from here this is the key this is the key name that we have to send it in the header that's why we were failing it if you send it from here it will give you the response. Uh, let's go back to our postman and go to header. Give this header name and then the key you can take it from here or you can take it from your profile as well, like from the profile here as well. Okay, so let's copy this. Let's go here, put this, do a save. Okay, we don't need to save. Do a hit. You see this? We got the response. All right. Now, this is something that we know how to access the API using the API key. All right. Now, let's take a look at how the inbound policy works. Before we apply the inbound policy, we need to create a certificate and upload the certificate. So if you come to this portal, to the API, to this left side, under the security, there's something called certificate. Click on certificate. There are two options. One is CA certificate and certificate. Go to certificate and click on add. I'm going to provide a name called essential API cert and then you can use either the certificate from Key Vault or from the custom one. So I'm going to choose the custom one which means I have to have my own certificate. If you don't know how to create a certificate you can go to my channel and watch this video. You can know how to generate the self signed certificate in your local and I I have already generated the certificate. So I'm going to choose that certificate. I choose the certificate and I have to provide the password. So once I provide the password and click on add, it is going to validate and the certificate has been created. Okay. Now, once the certificate is created, there will be something called thumbprint. Okay. So save the thumbprint. We will be using this shortly. All right. Now the certificate is there. Now let's go back to API. Go to API. Click on our API. So on the API, there is something called inbound processing. So if you apply a policy to this inbound processing, it gets applied to all the incoming APIs. Okay. So here, like I said, click on this policies and then you need to add the inbound policy. If you come here to the inbound and then click on snow ship it and authenticate with client certificate, you can actually include this policy. Okay. Now I have already created the policy. So let's take a look at the policy. 
So I'm going to replace this policy with the correct one. I'm going to replace this policy with the correct one and then I will explain you. So under the policy under the inbound, what we are doing is we are doing a, a condition a choose. So when the condition, when the incoming request certificate is null or if the request thumbprint is not the thumbprint that we have, which we just copied from the certificate, then return a status code 403 and then tell the reason that invalid client certificate. Okay, that's the return response. So we have applied one policy, which is uh, authentication towards the client certificate, and then we're going to save this. Okay, once this is saved, let's go back to Postman. I'm just going to hit this again, and you see this now we got 403 invalid client certificate, exactly whatever we just configured it. So, how do you have to, uh, you know, attach a certificate from your front end and send? Go to this postman, go to file, go to settings. Under the certificate, you can add a certificate. Now you need to choose the PXF file, exactly the same file that you uploaded there. So let me quickly pick up that file. I attach the file and then I need to provide the password and then say add. So I pick up the file, I provided the passphrase and then the next thing that I have to give us the host name. So the host name is basically if you go to the overview and the gateway URL is the host name, not the developer portal. Okay, just copy this, say add, it's added. Now let's close this, hit on send. Now you see I got the okay response because the client certificate was sent from the postman and the thumbprint matches it. That's why we were able to get that. All right, this is this is one of the policies that you can apply important policies the authentication policies to protect the api from unauthorized access so we saw this so in the next demo we will see how to implement the throttling in the azure api management thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon